The Ballon d'Or has been cancelled for the first time in the awards history due to impact of the coronavirus pandemic on the football calendar. The most prestigious prize in soccer was started for the first time in 1956. In 2018, it added the Ballon d'Or feminine to reward the best football player in the women's game. Alongside the Ballon d'Or, the organization also gives an award to the best young player and the best goalkeeper. Organizers of the award, Group LA Kian, announced in a statement on Monday that the conditions for the prize to take place had not been met. The statement from Pascal Ferre, editor-in-chief of France Football read, there will be no addition in 2020, because it turns out, after thoughtful consideration, that all the conditions are not met. We believe that such a singular year cannot and should not be treated as an ordinary one. This is facts, figures, and theories. Welcome to this channel. If you have not subscribed to this channel yet, please don't forget to subscribe the channel and press the bell icon so that you don't miss another update from us. This year's prestigious accolade has been cancelled by the France football. Does this mean that Cristiano Ronaldo have missed the opportunity to catch up on his competitor Lionel Messi? Well let's discuss in the video. The organizers also stated that, because the fairness that is so important for this award, could not be preserved, in particular at the statistical level, and also in preparation. Since all those aspiring to the award, could not be housed in the same boat, some having seen their season cut radically short, others not. So how can we compare the incomparable? We did not want to put an indelible asterisk, on such as the trophy won in exceptional circumstances, due to the COVID-19 health crisis. We will always prefer a small sprain on our history, rather than a large scar. The history of the Ballon d'Ivor is too precious, to take the risk of damaging it. In these turbulent times, taking a break is a luxury, and an invaluable necessity. Instead of awarding the usual four individual trophies, the organization will announce a dream team at the end of the year. Eleven players will feature, and will be chosen by the usual Ballon d'Or jury. Each of the 180 juries will choose 11 players, and the players with the most votes, will make the final team. This means that there will not be the individual supreme reward. This also means that most sought about duels, of the supremo duel Cristiano Ronaldo and Lionel Messi have been put to hold. This might also lead to whether Ronaldo have missed his opportunity, to catch up on Messi. Ronaldo have won the Ballon d'Or on five occasions, 2008, 2013, 2014, 2016 and 2017. And on the other hand, Messi have won the accolade on six occasions, 2009, 2010, 2011, 2012, 2015 and 2019, and is the current holder in men's football. In recent years, Lionel Messi and Cristiano Ronaldo have battled it out for the honor with only Luka Modric breaking their duopoly since 2007. So, let's get into the facts. Ronaldo is currently in 35th year of his life, and he has started to give indications that he is not the same player he was when he was 5 or 6 years younger, or when he joined Real Madrid from Manchester United. Ronaldo also recently moved from La Liga in Spain to the Serie A in Italy, which also somehow affects his individual competitiveness and rivalry with Messi. Some of us might not agree with me in this context, but in individual terms, Italian Serie A is less competitive for Ronaldo than the Spanish La Liga. He does not have a player like Messi to compete with in the Serie A. So, have Ronaldo missed the opportunity to close in on Messi? Will he ever catch his most competitive rival in this front? Also, another thing is Messi is a couple of years younger than Ronaldo, which means he will also have age advantage over Ronaldo, but Ronaldo as we know it, is a beast when it comes to physical fitness and footballing skills. So, what do you think? Have Ronaldo missed an opportunity, or he is going to prove himself come this time next year? We know that, we all secretly wish this Messi and Ronaldo duopoly, and this rivalry never end. Please write us in the comments below about your views. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, if you like this video, please share the video. And if you have not subscribed to this channel yet, please don't forget to subscribe the channel and press the bell icon, so that you don't miss another update from us. See you all in the next video.